Welcome to lecture series on center of gravity and movement of inertia. This is a part of lecture series on strength of material subject. For better understanding, please watch my videos in sequence one by one. Today we are going to solve the problem of finding the centroid or center of gravity of an L section as you can see on the screen. Okay, to find the center of gravity or centroid, we have to follow some step. Step number one is choose axis of reference. We have to choose an axis of reference about which we have to find the center of gravity. Let me choose this as x axis. And let me choose this as y axis. This is x axis and this is y axis. So the step one is complete. Step two is find symmetry. You have to check if you are given section of which you want to find the center of gravity or centroid. Is it symmetric about any vertical axis or horizontal axis? So let's check. As you can see, if I draw a vertical line anywhere, this is not symmetric about the vertical axis. Now let us check if it is symmetric about any horizontal axis. So I draw a horizontal line here or here. You can see this is not symmetrical about horizontal axis two. So the step two is complete and we found not symmetric. Step three, find the coordinates of center of gravity or centroid. The coordinates of center of gravity are denoted by x bar and y bar. x bar is the distance of the center of gravity or centroid of this L section with respect to the y axis and y bar is the distance of the centroid or center of gravity of this L section from the x axis. As we know it is not symmetric about any of the axes therefore we have to find both x bar and y bar. So let's first begin with finding x bar. We know x bar is given by x component of center of gravity or centroid is given by summation of ai xi whole divided by summation of ai. AI mean is the area of the ith member. Xi mean is the distance of center of gravity of ith member from the y axis. Now step 4 is divide the section into symmetrical elements such that their area is easy to find. Now step 4 says we have to divide this L section in such a way for example let me divide it like this. This is element 1 and this is element 2. Now element 1 you can see it is a rectangle and we know area of a rectangle is easy to find therefore we follow the rule such that their area is easy to find. Yes we can find the area of element 1. Now look at element 2. Element 2 is again a rectangle of length 8 cm and width 2 cm. Again we know area of a rectangle is easy to find by multiplying its length with the width. Therefore we have followed the step 4 correctly. Now, since we have only two elements, 1 and 2, 
this formula will simplify like this a1 x1 plus a2 x2 whole divided by a1 plus a2 now a1 is what area of element 1 um, what is the area of element 1 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 right 20 centimeter square a2 is area of element 2 which is 8 multiplied by 2 is 16 centimeter square now x1 is the distance of center of gravity of element 1 from y axis if i ask you where is the center of gravity x component of center of gravity of this element 1 right it is on this line we divided this into two equal parts element 1 and here will be the center of gravity right this is x1 x1 you can see the total is 2 centimeter so half of 2 is what 1 centimeter so x1 is 2 centimeter divided by 2 which is equal to 1 centimeter now x2 x2 is the distance of center of gravity of element 2 from the y-axis so if i erase this all of this is our element 2 now if i divide it into two equal parts like this from here to here is x2 now total length from here to here is 8 centimeter so x2 is half of 8 which is 4 8 centimeter divided by 2 which is equal to 4 centimeter now we know a1 x1 a2 x2 we can find the x bar now a1 is 20 x1 is 1 centimeter a2 is 16 x2 is 4 here a1 is 20 a2 is 16 when you simplify this you put all the values and solve this equation you get x bar is equal to Two point three three centimeter. So we found x component of the center of gravity. So let me erase all of this. Now let's find the y component of center of gravity. We know the general formula of y bar is equal to summation of a i y i whole divided by summation of a i since we only have two elements this is element 1 and this is element 2 therefore this formula will simplify into a 1 y 1 plus a 2 y 2 whole divided by a 1 plus a 2 now we know a1 is the area of element 1 right which is 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 as we have found before a2 is area of element 2 right all of this which is 8 centimeter multiplied by 2 which is a2 is 16 centimeter square y1 is the distance of center of gravity of element 1 from the x-axis let's find y1 first y1 is the distance of center of gravity of element 1 from the x-axis means where is the center of gravity of this one element we know this is a rectangle therefore the center of gravity or centroid will be at its center right so where is the center of this it is somehow here right if we draw a line like this this is the center right now let's call this as g1 means center of gravity of element 1 or centroid of element 1 now what is y1 y1 is distance of this g1 from the x-axis right y from x-axis because this is axis of reference we always find the center of gravity of elements 1 or 2 or anything from x-axis and y-axis so we have to find the distance from this point up to 
this point right now you see from here to here because from here to here is 10 so from here to here is 10 by 2 right this is 2 centimeter so y1 is 10 by 2 from here to here plus here to here plus 2 how much is it it is 5 plus 2 which is 7 centimeter okay so we found y1 to be 7 centimeter and before I move on I want to tell you don't worry about writing just try to understand because I have already provided the PDF of this video lecture in the description when you completely watch this video at the end of this video lecture you are going to download the PDF from the link in the description so right now just try to understand now we found y1 let's find y2 what is y2 2 means element 2 right because it's y means y minus distance from x axis if it was x x minus distance from y axis okay now y2 means distance of center of gravity of element 2 from the x axis right so let me erase this first all of this is our element 2 we have to find the distance from x axis right so where is the center of gravity of this element 2 we know this is a rectangle and it is a rectangles are symmetric so we can find the center of gravity by dividing it into two equal parts like this right this is element 2 i divided it into two equal parts now the center of gravity is somehow uh, where is if you guess the center of this it is going to be somehow here right now from here to here right from here to here this is y2 because this is element 2 so y2 is half of 2 centimeter right 2 centimeter divided by 2 is equal to 1 centimeter now we know a1 y1 a2 y2 all of this see a1 is 20 y1 is 7 a2 is 16 y2 is 1 a1 is 20 a2 is 16 when you solve this equation you will get y you will get y bar to be 4.3 centimeter so let me erase all of this so this is our y component of center of gravity right now we found the x bar and we found the y bar what does it mean it means the center of gravity of hole l section let me rub all of this first now we initially we assumed this to be g1 center of gravity of element 1 and this to be center of gravity of element 2 okay now we will not talk about g1 and g2 we will talk about net center of gravity of whole l section right let that be denoted with g okay g okay whose coordinates are x bar and y bar this is what was asked in our problem and we found this and if you want to locate it geometrically how you are going to do that now see g x bar is the distance of center of gravity of whole l section from y axis how much is x bar 2.33 right so it is going to be somehow from here to here is 2 but it is 2.33 right so a little bit here right now y bar is how much 4.3 means from distance of center of gravity from x axis is 4.3 now from here to here is 2 so i am assuming from here to here is 2 again so this is going to be the center of gravity okay and you can see the center of gravity of the whole l section is not itself located on any of its elements one or two right you can see here so you can also draw lines like this okay. 
this point is the center of gravity of this L section. And that's it for today. Again, if you want to download the PDF, you can download it from the description. Also, if you need tutoring from me, please contact me for that. I also offer tutoring in strength of materials, mechanics of materials, statics. And also, if you need help in any problem, if you need the solution of any problem, you can contact me and I'm definitely going to help you in that. That's it. See you in the next class. Enjoy learning. Thank you.